Embedding Twitter on your WordPress website is a great way to show valuable social proof and keep your audience engaged. That's why in this video, I'll show you two different methods to embed your Twitter feed on your WordPress website. The first method without using a plugin and the second method by using the Smash Balloon Twitter Feed Pro plugin. Let's get started with the first method without using any plugins. For this method, you'll first have to navigate to the Twitter published website. You'll find a link for it in the description of this video. Once you arrive on this site for the first step, you'll have to enter the URL for your Twitter account. For this example, I'm going to enter the URL for the GoPro Twitter account. I'm going to paste it here like this. And if you click on this arrow, that will show you all the display options you have for this URL. If you go to the button option, you have two different buttons you can create, either a follow button or a mention button. But for this video, we're going to embed our Twitter timeline. So I'm going to select that option here, and that will instantly show you a live preview of your feed down below. You can see that we have a feed of all the latest tweets from GoPro. And above that, we have the code that we can copy to embed this on our WordPress webpage. But before we copy the code, let me show you how we can customize this. Up here, you'll see set customization options. If you click on that, that will expand all the customization options for this feed. At the top, you can specify the exact size you want for your feed with the height and width in pixels. Below that, you can also choose a theme for the feed, whether you want a light theme, which you can currently see here, or a dark theme, just like this one. For this video, we're gonna keep it on the dark theme. And below that, you can also choose the language you wanna display your feed in. Currently set to automatic, but if you open it up, you can see that it has a bunch of different language options you can choose from. I'm gonna keep it on automatic, and then click on update. Now our code is ready to be embedded on our WordPress web page. Go ahead and copy code. And there you go. Our code is now copied and head over to your WordPress web page. Inside your page, all you have to do is add a custom HTML block. To do this, click on the plus icon and type in custom HTML. And here's the one we want. Once we've added our block, all we have to do is paste the code we copied like this. Next, if we click on preview, you can see that Twitter feed that we just created directly inside our WordPress web page. We click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. You should see all the latest tweets from GoPro directly on your WordPress web page in a feed like this. As you just saw, it's really easy to embed your Twitter feed on your WordPress website without using a plugin. But what if you wanted to change the layout or moderate the tweets you want to display? With this method, you don't have any option to do anything like that without having to deal with complex code. That's why I would recommend using the Twitter Feed Pro plugin. This plugin lets you embed your Twitter feed on your WordPress website in fast and responsive feeds like this without using any coding. In this video for method number two, let me show you how you can embed a Twitter feed with this plugin. I'm going to demonstrate using the pro version of the plugin, but we do offer a free version through the WordPress repository, but with less features. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your license key and download link for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Twitter Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. On your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Twitter Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And as you can see, the plugin has now been activated. And before we can start creating our Twitter feed, let's go and activate the license key. To do this on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Twitter feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. Next, beside License Key, paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account like this and click Activate. And as you can see, our Twitter feed pro license is now active. We can begin creating our first Twitter feed. On the left-hand side, once again, under Twitter feed, click on All Feeds. Next, go and click on Add New at the top to get started. With Twitter Feed Pro, you can create three different types of Twitter feeds. You can create a feed of tweets from any user timeline, a feed of tweets from any public hashtag, or a feed of tweets that match any specific search term. For this video, we're going to go with the user timeline option. That's already selected for us here, so we can go click on Next. And for this tip, we'll have to enter the Twitter handle for the account we want to display. For this example, once again, let's go with the GoPro Twitter account. So you can type it in here like this and click on Next. Now you'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the layout of your feed. You have options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, and more below. For this video, let's go with the masonry cards option and click on next. And straight away, you can see a beautiful preview of your brand new Twitter feed directly inside the plugin. All the latest tweets from GoPro are displayed in this feed in the masonry layout that we selected. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. In this menu, you can see several options to modify the layout of your Twitter feed. You can see currently we have the masonry layout selected, which displays your tweets in rows and columns, like this. Above that, we have the list layout, which displays your tweets in a single column list. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which displays your tweets in a swipeable carousel, like this. Continuing with the masonry layout, if you look down below, you can also specify how many columns you want on desktop, tablet, and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is select it like this, and select the number of columns you want to display. And straight away, the change will be made immediately inside your live preview. I'm going to change that back to 3, and below that, you can also choose how many tweets you want to display inside your feed. Currently set to 9, you can type in any number of tweets you want to display, up to 30 tweets. And once you're happy with the layout of your Twitter feed, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Twitter feed, go into Color Scheme under the Customize tab. You'll notice that currently it's set to Inherit from Theme, 
This means that your feed will be created to automatically match the design of your current website. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you're happy with the color palette of your Twitter feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want control to moderate the tweets you display on your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Here you'll find several options to filter the content you display on your feed. You can choose to include replies and retweets in your feed by toggling them on and off like this. Below that, you can also specify words to allow or block certain tweets that contain those words. At the bottom, you can even choose to hide specific tweets inside your feed. This way, you have complete control of the content you display inside your Twitter feed. And if you add any filters to your feed, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Twitter feed, let me show you how you can embed it inside your WordPress webpage. To do this, go click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, and click on Add. Here we are back inside our WordPress webpage, and this time we have two different options to embed our Smash Blue and Twitter feed. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we copied earlier, like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use a dedicated Twitter feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly get a live preview of your Twitter feed directly inside your web page. Now you can click on update, and we can take a look at what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live website, and as you can see, we have a beautiful, responsive Twitter feed directly inside our web page. All the latest tweets from the GoPro Twitter account are displayed in this feed. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of the photos or videos inside a tweet, all they have to do is click on it like this, and it will open up that media inside a lightbox view like this. And if you scroll down below, you can click on load more, to load even more tweets directly inside your WordPress web page. But if you're wondering if we can embed a Twitter feed inside the sidebar or footer of your website, you definitely can. Let me show you how to do that. For this example, let's embed a Twitter feed in the sidebar of our website. To do this, click on Embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click on Add to a Widget. This brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu, and at the top here we have our main sidebar. To embed our Twitter feed into the sidebar, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier, like this, or, once again, we can use a dedicated Twitter feed block like this. And again, with this option, you can see that we have a live preview of the Twitter feed directly inside the widgets menu. Let's go click on update and take a look at what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are back on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, you can see that Twitter feed that we created earlier in the masonry layout. But on the right hand side, you'll now notice we have a second Twitter feed embedded directly inside the sidebar. So you now know how to embed a Twitter feed on your WordPress website with and without using plugins. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.